Hello, welcome to Ken Beer Reviews. Today I've got a bottle of Wonsom's Raving Wolf IPA coming in at 6%. Um, they're, they're just east of Canterbury um, in Hurston. Um, I've had many of their beers before. I think this is about the third or fourth one of these that I've now reviewing. Um, yeah, so yeah, I've had this on cast before. It's, been quite pleasant anyway um, let's open this up it's got a best before date of January 2016 blue bottle cap nice blue there right let's crack this one open a little bit of smoke just hovering there, there we go. it's not exploding so that's good This beer was uh, in my Ravensgate Arms beer box for for um, July. I get the month right. Um, so thank you, Roger, for this one. I've actually got another one as well, but um, I'll put this one straight into the fridge. It's actually. Anyway, let's get on to this. A one, th well, it's gone down a bit. Half a finger of pure white head. Light carbonation running through the beer. Quite nice. It's like an orangey colour. A little bit cloudy. You can see it when you hold up through the light. You can see through the beer, but it is cloudy. It's got a lot of little bits and pieces floating around in it. It is bottle conditioned and unfiltered. Anyway, let's get a nose on this one. It's got a lot of um, fruit notes coming through on this. A little bit sprinkling a dark fruit maybe. Maybe a little bit of toffee. A little bit bready, maybe biscuity. Smells really nice on the bottle. Anyway, let's give us a try. Cheers. Mm. That's nice. It's quite smooth. It's got lots of... Um, flavours all blended mixed in with this one so first first sort of thing when you, you try it it's got a nice sweetness up front um, and then it goes into like a um, sort of a bready fruity kind of dark dark fruit kind of taste um, and then after that it goes into a more sort of a biscuity sort of bready toffee kind of middle of the palate it's leaving a lovely kind of citrusy note on the tongue as well as all them other fruits a little bit of grapefruit not too much not like a you know an American IPA or something like that, not way, not like just a, you know, just just little hints, but it's very, very well balanced. Um, it's got a little bit of bitterness on the on the back end. <laughs> Excuse me. It's got gentle carbonation. It's, it's leaving a nice lacing on the glass. You can see. Swirl it around a bit very well conditioned it's got hints of vanilla as well on the back end it's the more you're drinking it the more that's starting to come through um, it's it's a it's a proper solid brew um, this beer was actually on cask in the at the Kent beer festival um, the other day 
when I was there, but I've, I've had it quite a few times. So, but it's a very solid um, brew from from Wonsum. It's a really good good beer. Um, I know one of the guys who works there, Adrian. Uh, he, he's very proud to to produce this one, and he likes other people trying it. Um, he, he, he every time he sees it in a pub, he, he he's straight on it. He, he tries to drink the whole the whole barrel. <laughs> but no, he, he is right in many regards. It's it's a fantastic beer. Um, so yeah, check these out for sure. This is one of their core range beers. As I say, I have tried it on on cask, and you can get into trouble with this one. It's um, although it's six percent, you don't really. It doesn't really. It's got so much flavour going on that it doesn't come across being that kind of strong. It's got a little bit of zestiness right at the top of the taste, and it balances out. If you, if you had a like a pyramid of taste, the very sort of thing at the top, you, you've got that little bit of zest triangle, and then you've got all these other amazing flavours in between. You're tasting the malt. It's a very, it's sort of a medium, medium sort of malt malt base to this one. It's a solid, solid brew. It is bottom condition, excuse me. Um, but it's got barley and rye in it. Um, so let's see if this changes a bit. Loads of it. Look at them small bubbles there. Wow. See that? Beer mem mesmerises me sometimes. It has clouded up quite a bit actually. I wasn't expecting it to cloud up that much, but as you can see, it's very cloudy now. There's some light kind of bleeding through, but it's generally a, uh, a murky, orangey colour now. Let's see if the taste has changed. Don't buy your own. <laughs> Let's see if the taste has changed now. Oh, it's giving it more of a tang now. It's very close now that I poured the yeast in. What I can, from my mind, what I can remember from the cask, it's, it's on a very even, even um, level now with with a cask. I mean, more often than not, the cask is. You know, not always better than the bottle, but generally. Um, but this is this is almost a par to um, you know to the keg, to the keg, to the cask. They recently brewed a um, their first keg beer. Um, it was an exclusive down at the Ravens Gate Arms a couple of weeks ago. I, I didn't manage to get it, so I'm hoping that they produce more more of that beer on keg. I do like keg beers. I think they're uh, that it's just something about it. It's just it's just a nice mix up. I mean, I love my cast beers. Don't get me wrong, and my bottles, but sometimes to, to change it up, have a, have a have a pint of something from a keg. Oh. It's uh, to me anyway. Um, if it tastes good, and it's a little obviously it's a little bit colder. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, obviously, the craft beer scene is more often than not it's 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 keg these days. But you know, it's all it's all talk anyway. There's far too much politics in drinking beer than really what there should be. I think anyway. Um, if it tastes nice, drink it, enjoy it. That's me. I just love beer, and and most people who drink it, anyway, and brew it, and the, the fantastic brewers that are out there, like Adrian and a few others, um, you know, from other local breweries, a few people I know, 
They're all great people. They love what they do. Look at that. Look at them small bubbles there. It's a quality brew. I really like that. And I'm going to go fairly high for this, believe it or not. I'm going to go for a 9 out of 10 for this. I really do think you should, if you can get hold of this, go out and try it. It's a great brew from a great brewery, again. Um, they have got a website, but it's not on the bottle. Um, I will put it in the description bar below. Um, also, if you've got any comments, if you're watching this and thinking, you know, who's this guy, whatever, just put some comments down, even if I'm, you know, sort of, I mean, I make mistakes on these reviews, you know, I'm still kind of learning, really, so I'm not really that, that worried. Some Most of it's a bit nerves and slip of the tongue, so it's not, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, but the more I get used to it, the more I'll nail some of these, but it matters not one jot anyway we do not <laughs> so i just read something on there anyway um anything else to say about this beer oh it's oh strong robust ipa toasted biscuit and rye malt flavors complement a citrus crispness crispness with a hint of vanilla there you go um as i say they're out of hersden there is that a website? No. This is real owl. I wouldn't have known it otherwise. Um, Raving Wolf from the Wonson Brewery. Coming in at 6%. 9 out of 10 for me. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe. That would be great. It would be great to have a few more subscribers. And cheers.